I'm just supposed to stand here and do nothing. Yo, what's going on, party people? I am back with X-Men Legends again. So those of you who tuned in yesterday, I am going to be redoing this part. With, well, I'm going to try to do it with the X-Men, X-Men powers. I forgot, actually, um, the computer player might still use them, so... Uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. <laughs> oh. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this team, too. And, um... If I have to stand here much longer, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and go with this team. Your train is to the Sorry, loser. Right. Combo. So yesterday. I showed you all over here in the corner. There's the magma disc if you want to get it. Magma disc, challenge magma. And then up here. Your train is Terribly sorry about that. That's a sketchbook right here. And as I was saying yesterday, if you get up here, you can jump up here. They make it, you can blitz them from behind. Jean Gray can press yes. this button with the computer. I think she can press buttons. Let's go. Oh, don't jump in the lava. I'm going to try not to use the energy powers this time around, so I'll show you exactly all of the moves that Sabretooth and um, Avalanche can actually do. Because you saw with the OP attack I had, they didn't even last long enough for them to do anything, so... <laughs> Let's go! Never thought you'd get this far, ex ladies. This is where you're transporting mutants up to asteroid M, isn't it? You punks aren't as dumb as you look. With the coming war and all, we've been very busy transporting new recruits. But why come here? Why doesn't Gateway Move make mutants directly to asteroid M? The little guy's powerful, but he can't reach that far. Gonna shut you down, Avalanche. Give it your best shot. Will do. What is this? A fight or a square dance? Yeah. I'm on it. Okay. So normally you get stuck in these. Um, you get stuck. Yeah. See. Will do. In his little armor thing. That's what's supposed to happen, but okay. they're still using energy powers, so combo. <laughs> the combos do so much damage. I might as well at this point. Is this the best you punks can do? Combo. 
combo. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> Looks like the nice guys come in last again. <laughs> So we can't get to halfway then. We are standing on the edge of an abyss, and by God, our very existence depends on immediate, decisive action. There is no negotiating with the mutant blight. Ladies and gentlemen, I offer you a way to eradicate it before they. Silence, to... human! Your plans to destroy mutant kind will not come to fruition. This pitiful attempt failed, but it has sealed your fate. Let your followers know that it was you who set this war in motion, and let their anguished cries keep you warm in the, in the days, days to, to come. come. This isn't working out the way you promised. Don't be so naive, Havoc. How can we ever hope to live peacefully with a species that regards us as abominations? But using this Gravitron of yours is... is... is madness. Then let madness be the mother of change. No! I won't let you do this! <laughs> Will they realize that we are not merely their equals? We are their superiors. And on the eighth day, I looked down upon creation and said, Let there be darkness. You set these events in motion the first time you laid hands on one of us. You have always looked down upon mutants, feared us, hated us. And now you shall reap what you have sown. The decision is yours. Will a new day dawn where my children will no longer hide in fear? Or will it be forever night? <coughs> VN World News, I'm Deborah Owens. It's been two weeks since mutant leader Magneto began using his powers to encircle the Earth with asteroids. Currently, 90% of the sun's energy is being blocked from our atmosphere. As a result, there has been a 20 degree drop in the world's median temperature. At the UN, world leaders spoke out today, denouncing Magneto as barbaric and calling for retaliatory action. In the U.S., the president stated that military forces have focused their attention on finding Magneto's base. Citizens of Earth, I am Magneto. I have three demands which must be met unconditionally. First, all anti-mutant programs are to be terminated immediately. Second, the island of Genocha in the Indian Ocean will be granted to me as a sovereign nation. Finally, General William Kincaid will be handed over to me for trial under mutant law. If my demands are met, the sun will shine again. If I am defied, the chill you feel now will become the endless winter of your discontent. The choice is yours. Wow, so that's... So Professor Xavier and Magneto, while they are friends, they have very different ways of going about it. Since Magneto surrounded the Earth in asteroids, things are really starting to fall apart. Humans are close to declaring all-out war against mutants. I wish Professor X were here. He'd know what to do. I hope they figure out a way to help him escape from Shadow King. All right. 
Well, however, that scene also showed me another side of Magneto that you don't really get to see. He was very, um, it's the, the first demand he said was all anti-mutant programs must be terminated immediately. So his concern really is the safety of all mutants. He doesn't want them to be killed. He wants them to be safe and he doesn't want them to be hunted. So Magneto's feelings about what he's doing, it really is to benefit others. Um, not so much himself. However, he does kind of use it. He uses that as an excuse to be violent and to get his way. So I just thought it was interesting. I kind of, I think I get where Magneto was coming from. Because, uh, you know, just like in the comic books, everyone has always hated mutants. And he designed almost unbeatable metal machines to massacre them. So I understand Magneto's angle, but then of course, Professor Xavier, he, um, like a more peaceful way to go about it. Um, however, surrounding the Earth and asteroids is really interesting. I'm going to chalk that up as extreme passion and care for other mutants that would make that would move him to do that so, um, i don't want to say that magneto's heart is in the wrong place but oh man look at that picture it's like dark uh, too bad they don't let you outside to see that very Yeah, so Magneto, he's kind of, kind of an extremist. Um, I think he means it in a good way, but of course the humans only see that as barbaric, like they said in the RVN World News. So, yeah, I don't think they'll let you go out. Um, So that's my take on it. However, while Professor Xavier's uh, way of going about things is really good, Gambit Two Strike Two Agility, um, Magneto's way will probably get results faster, but out of fear and not out of respect. So it's, it's like a like a triple balance beat, that's how I would call it. And honestly, Magneto is just returning the threat that they did to all the other mutants. So you're openly hunting us. So I'm going to take something away from you. But see, unfortunately, everyone is being affected by what Magneto is doing. Mutants as well who are living on Earth. A bit extreme, but I kind of get it. Ah, welcome, young Allison. What are you working on? I'm attempting to devise a means by which the X Jet will be able to circumvent the shields around Asteroid M. As yet, I have been entirely unsuccessful. What's that piece of equipment over there? That is the Astral Gate. Cyclops and Wolverine acquired oh. during their excursion to the Weapon X <laughs> labs. What's it do? It's an interesting piece of technology based on psychic mutant... Oh, wow. Could we use this to save Professor X? A most intriguing idea, Allison. <laughs> Goodbye, Beast. I hope to see you again soon, Allison. there either. Professor X is still out. Hello, Allison. Are you as uncomfortable as I am about using your mutant powers? 
Let me guess. You're afraid of losing control. Well, you know that time I lost control in the danger room? A part of me liked it. Maybe a little too much. I'm afraid I might change if it happens again. You mean like I turn into the phoenix if I overextend myself? Yes. That's why the school is so important to us, Allison. It teaches self-control. What was it like, turning into the phoenix? It was terrible and wonderful at the same time. I've never felt such raw power, such confidence I could do anything. But at the same time, I felt so out of control. All that energy consumed me. It turned me into a monster. Are you ever afraid you'll transform into the Phoenix again? There's always that chance, Allison. But I take it a day at a time and resist those urges that could lead me down the path to the Phoenix. I wish I had that kind of self-control. You're a strong person, Allison. Continue to train in the danger room, and I'm sure you'll have no troubles with control. How's the professor doing? His vital signs dropped slightly this morning, but he's stabilized now. But that small change worries you. Yes, it does. I'm not sure how long the human body can live without a mind, and I have no idea how long the mind can exist without a body. I'm afraid if we don't do something soon, we'll lose the professor forever. Take good care of Professor Xavier. I will, Allison. I promise. Things are a bit interesting now. Hey, Wolverine. Hey, Pebbles. Long time no see. What have you been doing? All this waiting around gets me a little on edge, so I was in the danger room letting off some steam. Nothing like a good scrap to clear the head. How'd you learn to fight so well, Wolverine? Simple. I'm the best at what I do. <laughs> Very simple. Do you think we're partially responsible for all this trouble? What? You mean Magneto being free? Well, yeah. The X-Men could have stopped him at the Arbiter, but we didn't. Kiddo, our number one responsibility. But don't worry, Allison. Magneto will get his in the end. Wolverine was saying. Actually, I'll go back to the audio again and see if it'll play. Kiddo, our number one responsibility is to help people. Mutants and humans alike. Saving lives on the Arbiter was way more important than capturing Magneto. But don't worry, Allison. Magneto will get his in the end. See you, Wolverine. See you around, kiddo. Now for some bedroom discs. This will be clean. is still in here. Hello, Allison. What can I do for you? So Shadow King really hates Professor X, huh? Shadow King despises Charles with every fiber of his being. Why? Because Shadow King is an insatiable egomaniac. Years ago, he was bested by Charles in a battle on the astral plane, and Shadow King would never let that go unanswered. Do you think the Professor will survive? My dear, never, ever count out Charles Xavier. He's a man of amazing strength and fortitude. He survived the impossible more than once. I'm counting on him to do so again. What are you doing with Cerebro? I've been viewing the astral plane, trying to see what Shadow King has done with Charles. What have you found? Nothing. The astral plane is in a tremendous amount of upheaval. I've never seen anything like it before. Good luck with Cerebro. Thank you, dear. I'll not rest until Charles is set free. All right. So, I think that's all the dialogue you can have. So I'm going to go ahead and start.
X-Men, we've got an emergency. To the war room on the double. Tensions have finally come to a head. There's been a huge upsurge in sentiments against mutants. Anti-mutant rallies are being held in every major city, and mutant control laws are being discussed by every nation in the world. There have been sporadic outbreaks of violence against mutants, but those are just small trickles from a dam that's about to break. Spit it out, Psych. What's going on? I just received word that Sentinels have begun openly hunting mutants in New York City. To make matters worse, Gerso's soldiers stormed the sewer tunnels and are attacking the Morlocks. Cyclops, I know we've had our differences with the Morlocks, but we must help them. We will, Storm. I spoke to Healer. He agreed to meet us in the sewers and fill us in on the situation. Scott! Scott, can you hear me? Juggernaut's on a rampage and we can't stop him. We need your help. <laughs> Looks like we're only putting in those overtime today, accident. Let's get moving. Man, when it rains, it pours, huh? So let's see, should I stop the riots in New York? Should I defend the Morlocks in the sewers or to heat Let's start with you. Gambit. Iceman. Oh, that's a good team. Okay, so I'm going to put up uh, his kinetic mastery all the way up. Plus 30% movement heat, speed and 50 to 30 damage to physical attacks. And that makes an extra strong staff master and overload completely filled up. And I'll show off his extreme move, uh, 52 pickup, which if you play cards, you know what that means. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go with this group. <clears throat> Come quickly! Juggernaut is in the facility and he's trying to kill Forge! You better run, little man! <laughs> Isn't technology a wonderful thing? <laughs> X-Men! Your little friend Forge can't keep running forever! And when I catch him, I'm gonna pulverize him! Thought I'd do a little sightseeing here on beautiful Muir Island. Then take home a few souvenir X-Men heads to hang over my fireplace. You should know better than that. Ain't nobody can stop Juggernaut! Not even the puny X-Men! I guess it's time to see what happens when an irresistible force meets an immovable object. <laughs> I'm gonna crush you wimps like paper cups. Let's Coming go. through! You bet. Got it. Show thing. Sketchbook out here somewhere. Right. 
Yes. We gotta run. Go, 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 go. Getting that sketchbook is kind of risky. That was certainly exciting. Thanks for the help. Forge, are you okay? Me? I'm fine. I just wish my hands would stop shaking. What should we do with her? I've got a special brig that can hold Mr. Unstoppable. Let's drop him in there. Once he wakes up, maybe he'll feel like answering a few questions. All right. You got lucky, Meatball, but you ain't never gonna knock me out again. Who sent you to attack the mutant research center? Ah, oh, get out of my head! I hate what you freaks do to a man's brain! This will end after you've answered our questions. Who sent you to Muir Island? I don't know, okay? I was hired by some anonymous joker. He paid me a big bundle of money to do the job. What were you paid to do? I was supposed. Sorry. Do the question again. I was supposed to destroy the Astral Gate. I was chasing Forge because I figured he knew where it was. The Astral Gate? That's what Cyclops and Wolverine took from Weapon X. The Astral Gate isn't even here. What? I go through all the trouble of fighting you goody two shoes and it ain't even here? Nope, right not. But I was positive it'd be here. You creeps always have Forge mess with new equipment, right? Sorry, Juggernaut, you were wrong. Ah. Talk to you later. I'm gonna get you for this, if it's the last thing I ever do! You X-Men have a habit of arriving in the nick of time. Thanks. No, but it's just as well that he didn't attack the mansion. I guess that's true. Unfortunately, Juggernaut doesn't know who hired him to do the job. Whoever it was had to be very wealthy. Juggernaut doesn't come cheap. Uh, could Magneto have sent Juggernaut here? Maybe. But Magneto has always been a hands-on kind of guy. I guess that's I can't true. see him hiring someone to do important work that he could do himself. That's very true. So it couldn't have been Magneto. What are you working on? What I seem to be doing a lot of lately. Putting things back together. Thanks, Forge. See you later. Ciao, ciao. Bless your hearts. You saved us again. What are you working on? I'm trying... trying to I'm see... trying to see if I can help poor Charles. I just received word his health is failing. Are you having any luck? None at all. I fear the worst for him. He won't last much longer if his mind remains trapped on the astral plane. Do you think we should return to the astral plane? I sincerely believe it's our only chance at saving Charles. He must be freed soon or he'll die. Thanks, Laura. Goodbye, my friends. How are you feeling? Large and in charge. I went to pieces last time I saw you guys, but I've got myself together now. All of myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lying in a tank of energized lip ties is way less exciting than it looks. See you around. Oh, yeah. Like any time we have troubles here on Muir Island. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, once again, the X-Men arrived to save the day. We should get you guys pagers. <laughs> this one, yeah, the audio is still cutting out a little bit, but it's not too bad. I just, I'll try to repeat it. Uh, earlier when I was playing, it did seem like it was helping, but it, looked like, it looks like it is now. So I'll do that. All right, so we have New York Riots or the Gersosu Raid. 
I think I'm going to do all right, so I'm going to put out Emma Frost. Emma Frost. Colossus. Colossus. Rogue. Rogue and actually, that is a really good team. Okay, Rogue here to speed. focus. Seven stash of the invulnerability. Minus 30 physical, minus 16 beam damage, 100% pain, minus 100% knockback, and 40% chance to deflect physical on top of uh, reflecting 50 to 63 punts kicking. So that's pretty cool, actually. Energy drain, I'll try that. And southern smash attack. Previous shell, minus 50 physical, minus 20 beam damage, and pain immunity. So that's really cool. Hardness, 50% chance to reflect 100 to 125 damage back at foes. That's really useful on this part. So for Rogue and for Emma Frost, they're like really great to have out. Well, surprisingly, I don't think I've had them out before, but I think this might be helpful. So I'm going to do. I'm going to do confused this time around instead of fear because I don't want them running away from me. I'm going to put one on critical strike. Colossus. Let's see. Let's do. Put up his agility a little bit. Help him hit. Osmium skin, minus 50 physical, minus 20 beam damage, 50% to deflect physical, and pain immunity. So a mix of rogues and Emma Frost. And Concussion Blast, and I'll put one on Power Smash. Oh, that is a really good team. I don't think I've ever tried this group before. Thank goodness you're here, X-Men. We desperately need your help. Why isn't Meryl here defending the Morlocks? She and her Gene Nation follow... She and her Gene Nation follow... Okay, so it doesn't look like it's working. So her... Meryl and her Gene Nation followers left them and she didn't know that the Morlocks were being yes. attacked. So I'm sure if she had known about the attack, she would have stayed to protect people. How are soldiers getting into your tunnels? They are entering through an abandoned section. They are entering through an abandoned section of the sewers. We'll see you later, Hero. Good luck, X-Men. I'm not sure. As it is. All right. Physical resistant people, that's why I have em Emma Frost out. She's mental. See you next time. So, you want to break the ladders down. Look out! I haven't saved in a while, I'll go ahead and save here. Okay. 
will do. Oh. Game, set, and match. Okay. Everyone lost their MP power. Okay. The core resistant. There's a ladder, we need to get that too. Right. We have incoming! Yes. Very well. You bet. Cyclops can use that one. I'm on it. You're going down. This is the powerhouse, man. I haven't shown you Colossus says rogues. Yes. Yes. I'll show you I'll be sure to show you both show you all uh Colossus says and Rogues extreme attack. I'm on it. Right. Sketchbook right there. Follow close. Oh, come out. As you wish. Yes, very well. You're going down. If you insist. I'm on it. As you wish. We've got incoming. I need more power to do that.
Brit Loaders. All right, on to the next part here. That's one thing you could do to keep healing his EP and use it forever. That is one thing you can't do. Pretty cool. Turn that volume a little bit. You bet. from Colossus. That's not even as strong as that move gets. Yes. I'm on it. Very easy to miss the stage room disc back here. Keep my out for that. Let's see what you got. That's, I'm real good. that's crazy overpowered, isn't it? Very useful in a pinch. He's, he has one of my favorite, uh, almost called it a final smash, uh, favorite uh, <laughs> X-Men superpower. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> Time you freaks learn to listen. Y'all weren't that tough. <laughs> what can I say? I'm real good. I'm gonna equip that uh, super muscle accelerator. 
I'm gonna put it on my own Colossus. Yeah. Ooh, I'll give her a power enhancer. That's great. And, uh, I'll keep Vindicator's Gauntlets and Cyclops. As you wish. All right. What a terrible camera angle. There we go. Okay. You bet. The sedimentary. Let's go. Yes. As you wish. Okay. Rogue is very useful for these guys with her shield. They decide to attack her anyway. She has bulletproof on this. Oh, freezing a little bit. Attack me. Every time they try to attack her, she does like the same amount of damage reflected. Usually every time. Ooh, that's good. Uh, let's see. I feel like I'm remembering there being something to pick up over here. Let me just look around real quick here. Hmm. That's where we came from. Time you freaks learned a lesson. Oh. Y'all weren't that tough. That is true, I didn't show that. If you hold forward and press B, you can die. It can be a really deadly attack. I'm on it. Very well. Be careful you don't do it and fly off of the cliff. <laughs> Oh shoot, I don't have anyone who can make a bridge. Okay. That's okay, I think I can do this. Not the way you would normally go about it, but... One option, in case uh, you need someone. In case, like, you uh, KO'd a few people and can't revive them, don't have enough money to, you can do that. Let's see what you got. Need a minute to catch your breath? Y'all weren't that tough. Stop. If you insist. You bet. We've got incoming. Goodness, that had to hurt. <laughs> Ooh, I never noticed that before. Step point back there. 
Note to self. As you wish. Very well. Yes. Yes. As you wish. Take your bad beauty. I need more energy to do that. That's hers. She stuns everyone out there. And that can be really useful if you're surrounded by a lot of people. In some cases, she can borrow all of their moves and use them. So that's pretty cool. Oh, that's that stamina. That's good. Oh, he's already down. Okay. <laughs> no! Yes. As you wish. We have him coming. Will do. For this next battle that's coming up, I think I'm going to change my team. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to do. How about. That actually is a really good team. I didn't. I had realized how great that team is. Well, let's keep that in mind. I think I'm only going to switch that one person. Iceman. Uh, Iceman. Yeah. I'll give him. Ooh, super weakness ally. That's good. Or death. Death birds javelin. Yeah, it's hacking. Run speed plus twenty percent. Nine to eleven speed damage. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to switch Rogue with Gambit. Gambit. And that's going to be my team for this battle. Okay. All right. Got it. X-Men. Every Morlock in this city owes you their deepest thanks. No thanks is necessary, healer. We're just trying to help. 
But were it not for you, those soldiers would have massacred us. You saved a group of people who not so long ago had taken one of your own as a prisoner. And in appreciation, I would like to give you a gift. That's what I'm saying. I insist. Please, take this. Yes, Marrow has returned. She is seeking to persuade even more of our people to leave their home and follow the Brotherhood on their mission of violence. Please, talk to her. Try to reason with her. Make her understand that what she is doing is wrong. We'll try, but Meryl can be extremely stubborn. <laughs> yes, and that in part is why she is such a good leader. Thanks, Hillers. My pleasure, X-Men. So here it gives you a skill point. You can give it to whoever you would like. I went on ahead and came to the end of it. And I'm going to put it on... Arrows back. Watch the spikes. Mero, we need to talk. X-Men. I've had enough of your interference. I will destroy you. Look, fresh meat. Yes. You bet. Yes. You bet. Yes. Hey. I'm not sure how this power got that low, but I don't have weird. enough energy. Oh, I have an upgraded Ice Man's uh, special move. But you can't stop the Gene Nation. We will prevail. Nero, you have tremendous rift within your people. It's tearing them more like civilization apart. You know nothing about my people, and I've heard enough of your lies. Why are you working with the Brotherhood? Oh, conveniently, look what's over there. There's a danger room disc. I don't know about that. I'm trying to remember. Huh. I can't remember if I've known about that or not. Probably not. Why are you working with the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood promised to let us help rule over the humans. For the first time in history, the Morlocks will be in charge. 
for the audience to come out a little bit here. So more or less we'll be in charge. We will be the ones to make the laws. We will have control. Brotherhood will tell you anything you want to hear, but in the end, they will give you nothing. How do you know? Because the Brotherhood is power hungry. You lie. If the Brotherhood was so interested in the Morlocks, why weren't they down here protecting your people from these soldiers? Gerso soldiers were here? Nero, think of your people. I do. With every breath I take. I made the deal. I made the deal with the Brotherhood so my people would know what it's like to live in the sunshine. Is that their dream or just yours? Nero, most of your people don't even want to leave the tunnels. This is the only home they've ever known. What do you know of my people? Or of being oppressed? You live in luxury. You don't stomp around in other people's filth all day. We know plenty about oppression, intolerance, and hatred. Oh, we know plenty about oppression. Intolerance and hatred aren't limited to certain sections of the world. Meryl, above or below ground, we command our own destiny, and it's up to us to shape it. Yes, we're kidnapping Morlocks. I... I had no idea. I don't... Want any more likely to be hurt? Perhaps this has gone too far. It has, Miro. You shouldn't allow the Brotherhood to pull you apart. You sound very much like my old friend Healer. I do miss him. His counsel. Very well. I will call an end to the G Nation and bring peace to my tribe. You made a wise choice, Miro. Thank you, X Men, for your patience and your guidance. Good work, team. I think the Morlocks are going to be all right now, but there's still plenty more we have to do. Let's get out of here. Great job, mission accomplished, but your work isn't done yet. And now we have to go to the heart of New York where Sentinels are openly hunting mutants. And we have to help everyone. Definitely want magma out, that's for sure. Let's do magma, colossus, wolverine, and storm. Storm. I don't think I've ever done this team before, actually. Oh, I haven't used him in a while either. Okay. Seven points. Okay. Uh, healing factor. Expertise. Could have built a bit of I think who else might I want to put out instead this time? Beast isn't bad. Emma Frost is great with her hardness of the diamond, but she can't do much attack on this one. Mm. Jubilee might be good. Rogue is definitely a good option. Mm. Actually, yeah, instead of Storm, I'm going to put Rogue. Rogue. This is another good, good team combo that I don't think I've tried before. I think these three, these three, three, these four people would work great together, actually. Yeah. 
Look at this. Things are out of control here. Innocent mutants are under attack. We have to save them. We have to get them to an ambulance. I'm gonna go ahead and do a save state here. So in Magma's form, she can lift just about anything that includes cars. There's another rare pickup there. As you wish. Yeah. Will do. There's a sentinel that comes down over here. I'm gonna try to toss this at him. Ow! will take you to an ambulance. So, a uh, rogue is also. Ro oh, rogue and colossus are two people who have might. When that's all the way up, they can pick up cars too. Die. And Colossus. Come on. So we have three mutants to save in this area. Doctor, got it. Where are okay. the others? If you uh, haven't noticed, the sentinels. Yeah. Uh oh, he didn't do that. Uh, the sentinels fall down onto the cars too. So that can also add to the explosion. And it can KO you if you're not careful. Gotcha. Yes. Let me find out where that last mutant is here. Yeah. Um. Oh, there he is. Give me a hand here. Will do. Yeah. Tell us and you will be safe. Let's go. Let's stick together. Thanks, X Men, you saved my life. Two and three. Good job, team. The Third Street area is secure, but there's more people in need of help on Fourth Street. Let's get going.
know there's an item that I didn't get that I think All I'm right. going to go ahead and grab. Let's visit church first. We're going to sell a few things to certain basic things at this point. I'm probably not even going to bother keeping. I don't think I'm going to use like that, so let's sell it. Uh, sell that to... I don't think we're going to... For the rest of the game, I don't think we're going back to the... Um, more like sewers. So I'm going to buy two Ultra DNA generators. Two Super Focus, two Super Body. Super Strike and one Emerf Nimrod. So that's all those basic commercial damage to get. And so I didn't even know how to answer that. I'm going to keep him with the Muscle Accelerator. I'll give him an Ultra DNA Generator. Her Hammer of Nimrod. And Rogue, an Ultra Generator. Super Strike. Super Focus. Super Body. Super Focus. Good to go. Colossus already runs faster than everyone else because he's so big. The muscle accelerator on top of that. <laughs> the others can barely keep up with him. And then if you use, if you give Colossus uh, an ultra muscle accelerator, and then use Gambit's uh, special armor move, go move at plus 50% speed. Gotcha. Okay. As you wish. Will do. So for these fires, you definitely would normally want to have out either Iceman or Storm to put out those fires. I think there might be a few mutants stuck behind them, so I'm going to have to do things a little bit differently this time. Disc right here, very easy to miss. With the hammer of Nimrod, it makes Magma that much stronger. She can, she can take out the Sentinels pretty easily with it on. That's Psylocke, she needs our help. Together. Okay. You okay, Psylocke? I'm quite well now, but I was in a bit of a tight spot. Got it. Thanks for the assist. What happened here? I was hoping you could tell me. The city seems to have gone insane. And it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. Got it. 
Whoops. Sorry guys, I just blew everybody up. I think I'm adding to the mayhem a little bit. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. Hope I'm not making anybody dizzy. There is a mutant back here somewhere. There he is. Okay. Give me a hand here. Come on. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yes. Whoopsie. Wait a minute. Where are we at? <laughs> Is anyone still okay? Get on, Wolverine. <laughs> Actually, I guess that's kind of my fault. I kind of separate everybody with Rogue flying, so I can't be upset at them. That was a. <laughs> yes. Gotcha. Stay near me. Uh, those All poor right. mutants probably don't know what to do. There's oh, we're missing one. So there is one that I forgot then. This way. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna come up and see. Oop, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to drop him on his face like that. <laughs> um, Good work, team. We've destroyed all the Sentinels on 4th Street, and more importantly, we saved a lot of lives. But our work isn't done yet. We have to move on to 5th Street. Let's stick together. We'll do it. Yes. Sure thing. On to East Fifth Street. Send a weapons platform. Now that looks new. Never seen that before. Oh man. I guess we're gonna have to fight that. Will do. Come on. Got it. Okay. Okay. Ah, I feel stronger than steel. Ooh. As you wish. That thing certainly was big. If you haven't used Magma much by this time, uh, when you decide to play this game, she is perfect from here on out to the end of the game. I pretty much always have her out at this point. I just switch everyone else. Yes. Oh, I think I just learned something. You don't have our Iceman and uh, Iceman or Storm. You can use Concussion Blast to put out fires. Or at least I thought that's what I saw. Maybe not. 
Okay, never mind. Ignore that last part. I thought that's what I saw, but I guess not. Will do. Got it. <laughs> and another mutant, and there's something else that's supposed to happen. Is it on this street? It might be on the next street, actually. Oh, almost forgot to come in here. I think that was all of the mutants in this area. Oh yeah, there are a few more sentinels floating around. Switch too soon. Where's the ambulance? Here, okay. Oh wait, I missed one person. Okay, gotta find out where they are. Yes. Right. Let's see. There he is. Oops, wrong one. I'll see if I can put him down right this time. Oh, 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 okay, never mind. Let's just go. <laughs> Dude, you dropped me. <laughs> sure thing. Good job, X-Men. All the Sentinels on 5th Street have been destroyed. 6th Street is the last remaining. Remember, there are a lot of innocent people depending on us. We must show. Gotcha. All right. Last streak here. Gotcha. Die. Come on. Okay. Follow us and you will be safe. It weighs too much when she's not magma form, of course. Do 
operative. Also, in case you didn't know, there is a stat point down there, down the stairs. Very easy to miss. Hey, that sentinel's after that little kid. We have to save him. Are you okay, little boy? Hey, you're the X-Men. Cool. Not many people feel that way right now. But I do. You guys are heroes. What's that in your hand? A piece from my dad's chest set. I carry it for good luck. Good luck, Bishop? Well, it must be working. From the way that Sentinel was eyeing you, there's a strong chance you might get to join us someday. Me? An X-Man? Wow, you really think so? Actually, yes. There is an X-Man named Bishop who does join. The X-Men. Very possible. Got it. Right. As you wish. I think I'm remembering something. Someone, certain X-Men, when they're together, they have a certain move they can do. Oh, As you wish. Wolverine and Colossus. I might have to show you after I uh, take them back. of six. Yeah, there's still a few more mutants lying around. I want to see if I can still do it. So X-Men and, or X-Men, Colossus and Wolverine have a special move they can do. He can toss Wolverine at a group of enemies, so that is helpful. Um, let me see, there's another one. Certain X-Men, when they're together, they do have certain moves. I think it's only with Wolverine. You can't do it with anyone else. I had forgotten about that. So in case you didn't know, you can't do that. Um, okay, we're missing three mutants. There. Hmm. Okay, there's that guy over there. I'm remembering there's another special move that another set of X-Men can do. I'm just trying to remember what it was. There we go. Four, five, and six. I always forget about this guy. Depending on the camera angle, he can easily be missed. And sometimes you have to talk to him the second time. Okay, he's kind of missed. So just something to keep in mind. As you wish. Yeah.
course, they will let you pick up the ambulance. <laughs> That's it, X-Men. We've destroyed all the Sentinels and helped everyone in danger. But there are other many other places we're needed. Let's get moving. Great job. Mission accomplished, but your work isn't done yet. Good work, team. We've done a great job, but this is no time to rest on our laurels. Da! What is our next move? These da- Magneto? Exactly. Beast, have you come up with a way for us to get to Asteroid M? No. But I shall double my efforts in attempting to devise a solution to the conundrum. Perfect. Gene, have you come up with a way to release Professor X from the astral plane? Not yet, but now that Psylocke's here, we're working on a plan. All right, people. Sorry, guys, the audio cut out a couple of times, and I'm unable to replay those. So if you want to listen to the audio in full detail, feel free to play the game through, and that way you'll be able to have the full dialogue throughout the entire game. So we have a lot of stuff to do for the Cyclops. Magma, what a pleasure it is to see you. Earlier, you mentioned the astral plane was an upheaval. What did you mean? It's as if a vast amount of energy is being used to reshape the landscape of the astral plane. Why would that be happening? I don't know, dear, but the odd thing is, it feels as if Charles were the one causing the change. Why would Professor Xavier... Why would Professor Xavier change the astral plane? Maybe it's his way of showing us where he is. I'll let you get back to work, Emma. I'll let you get back to work, Emma. Thank you, dear. I guess you guys don't need me to repeat everything she says. <laughs> Just to have it right now. Um, I might also do some danger danger work just to get some credits cleared and everything. Um, I'm assuming the X jet should be open this time. Not yet. Let's try to check back to see if we'll be able to go in there. Please. Did you look at that chalkboard? Oh, I can't even talk to him. Oh. He must be really focusing on trying to double his efforts to revise a solution to the conundrum. Kind of <laughs> Hello, Allison. Have you had any luck coming up with a plan to save Professor Xavier? We're still using Cerebro to study the situation. I heard that the entity holding the Professor prisoner is really powerful. He is. More than any of us would have expected. But the X-Men will be able to defeat it, right? I certainly hope so. But it won't be easy. Why do you say that? Professor Xavier is the most powerful telepath known to mutant kind. Anyone that can so easily trap him is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, that's definitely true. See you later, Jean. Bye, Allison. Alright, everyone's sort of in sort of in better spirits because they've been showing a strong face and battling, getting things done, making plans and everything. So they're in a little bit better spirits than the last section. However, there's still a bit of loom homing up loom. There's a bit of loom holding over everyone's heads there, so you can kind of tell in the dialogue. So I don't believe we can go outside yet. Yeah. Let's check comic book. 
classes gets two strength and two body. Okay. Oh, there's barely anyone to talk to. Oh, Psylocke. Hello, young lady. Who are you? Alison Crestmere. My code name is Magma. Who are you? My name's Betsy Braddock, but here in Xland, people call me Psylocke. Aren't you the new kid, the one who can generate lava? <sighs> yeah, that's me. What's your mutant ability? I have the telepathic ability to create psychic knives I can use to stun or kill my enemies. I also have telekinetic powers. According to Jean Grey, you've got a bizarre past. I suppose it is a bit unorthodox. Years ago, an enemy of the X-Men switched my body with that of a Japanese assassin. The assassin died while in possession of my original body, so now I'm trapped in this one. How terrible. I was angry at first, but I've learned to accept and even love what I am. I kept my original mutant powers and gained the assassin's incredible martial arts skills. Eh, that's not a bad thing to gain. <laughs> Aren't you afraid of battling Shadow King on the Astral Plane? Jean and Miss Frost seem to be. Jean and Emma are not trained killers. I fear nothing but failure. It was nice to meet you, Psylocke. It was a pleasure to meet you, Magma. So I'll go upstairs to the dormitories, but I'm pretty sure that's the only conversation that you could have this time. After Jean Grey and Psylocke and Ruby is. And Emma Frost, of course. Which is interesting because those are the only three tele telepathic people in the, in the X Men right now. So, um. Excuse me. They're the main ones who are planning right now about what to do next. Everyone else who isn't. Psychic is probably wondering what to do, how they can help. Yep, so just back to the sub basement, and at this point, you might as well just start the next mission. Not much else to explore, or no one else to really talk to. Something that Juggernaut has been making me think a little bit. So Juggernaut said that Juggernaut said that some anonymous tipper paid him to destroy the Astro Board. Obviously it wouldn't have been Magneto because he could have done it himself. Probably honestly, from, from Astro A to M, Magneto could probably feel the Astro Gate and crush it himself. So we know it wasn't him. So who is the anonymous person who tipped, who gave Juggernaut the tip to this master game? They said it must have been a wealthy person, so who could possibly have done And it's probably the same person who instructed Shadow King to kidnap Ileana. Yes. One more minor adjustment, and we'll all be able to reach the astral plane. Explain it to me one more time, beast. What's this thing do? This is an astral gate. A rather ingenious device that allows non-psychics to visit the astral plane. But it's safe to use, right? It's not like I'm gonna wind up completely schizoid. No, Bobby. You'll be perfectly normal. Or whatever perfectly normal is for you. Haha, <laughs> very funny, beast. Okay, enough joking around. Let's fire this thing up.
All right. So the astral gate that Cyclops, Havoc, and Wolverine liberated from the CIA Weapon X facility now allows X-Men, people who are not psychic, to visit the astral plane. Personally, for this one, I like to have out all of the based people. Emma Frost. So that would be... Jubilee. Jubilee, Emma Frost, Jean Grey, and Psylocke. Psylocke. Mental people have the most... the, the most uh, effect here on the astral plane. So, um, actually, you know what? I think I always do that. I've never used Jubilee, actually, but I always use these four. So I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to do Rogue. Rogue. Gambit. Gambit. And Beast. Beast. That's a good team. Okay, that's very cool. So for 36 seconds, every teammate has minus 50% damage and plus 20% ally striking and ability. So that's pretty cool. Huh, you know what? I guess I didn't really use Beast at all this time around. Interesting. The weakness of the guys are simply adding an answer. And Paul, that move is great. It just costs so much energy to use. Orbital Bombardment. A 10 Strike and 10 Agility. That's nice. So I can't remember what Beast just saw. Minus 20 Physical Damage plus 12 Agility. Wow. Plus 150% Jump. That's, <laughs> that's pretty neat. And I'll do Propeller Kick. When I focus in Southern Smash, how about that? Oh, okay, so I do need Jean Grey out to be able to activate the switch without it moving. So I will put out Jean instead of Jean Grey. Jean Grey. It's not bad. Okay, team, let's move out. The sooner we find Professor X, the quicker we can get out of here. It's a little freezing there. On that note, I am going to save right here, as <laughs> it crashes. Oh, fun fact, you cannot fly on the astral plane. Very easy to miss. There's a danger disc right here. area. It must be the doorway to Professor Xavier's mind, but it's locked. Shadow King must have fragmented his mind. He won't be able to enter until we repair the damage. Oh, 
those three gates must lead to whatever it was Shadow King took from the lands. We'll have to gather those items and bring them back here. Affirmative. Yes. Dark Lion. That should be interesting. show you the difference between his jump without bestial soul when you put it on him. Watch his jump. He jumps way faster, way further, and jumps way higher off of the wall. So that's pretty cool. You can actually use this to get on top of a building in case you uh, are in an area. There could be a sketchbook or a comic book up there. So that can be really useful. Better luck next time. Yes. This challenge Emma Frost, okay. I'm probably going to leave all the basic stuff now. Come on. I thought you were tougher than that. Ooh, what's that? That must be Professor Xavier's symbol for honor. Let's get it back to the portal. Not the real blob, it's an astral creature left behind by Shell. Get him. So you have to attack him and then destroy the statue that gives him his power. I think it's this one. There it is. And you can attack him again. 
And you have to destroy the other one. Oh, this one. Ooh, that was really strong punch, bro. Goodness. Almost KO'd him with it. I will comply. <laughs> Rope's punch is dope. Show <laughs> thing. And it's not even at Smash Legend yet. Oh man, it's only that's crazy. Wow. I still have five points to level it up. We both know how God that's gonna turn. I think this time around I'm going to change my team for each of the three parts. So I'm not going to use any of the same. So I have. I will comply. Okay. So for this next part, I'm going to do. Cyclops. Cyclops. Uh, Ice Iceman. Man. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler and Psylocke. Psylocke. Okay, Astral Stone and Super Body. Second Surf, Psychic Pulse. Psychic defense, minus eight mental damage. We are on the astral plane. So we get minus 50 mental damage to teammates, minus 30 knockback, and plus 30 focus. Oh, that is a lot. Psychic hmm. onslaught. She has sign, strike, and fury, and blade master. So uh, 175 to 215 damage to psychic blade. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to put the rest on second. I don't want to do bolts this time. I think I'll try bolts this time for her. Nightcrawler. How about that of mastery minus eighty damage and plus twelve agility, so that's pretty cool. And teleport frenzy. One hundred to one twenty-five per hit. Seven attacks for one hundred thirty enemy. That is pretty cool. So I'll put one on sucker punch. So if you have sucker punch and critical strike, that gives you what um, almost twenty percent chance of a critical strike per hit. That is. Pretty It could be really powerful if you time it right and if you're in a battle. Uh, that's what they really can do. So I'm going to go with these four. Um, I feel like I always use Cyclops and Iceman at the same time. So I'm going to put out. Jubilee. Instead. Jubilee. Uh, 
that one's the next one. After all that changing and leveling up and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and see what it is. Dark Avalanche. Looks a little creepy, huh? Wait here, I'm going to look around. Wait here, I'm going to look around. So I'll show you her extreme move here. So you her. That's a pretty cool move. Another great move when you're surrounded, running low on energy. Form up on me, X Men. That's a lie. Yeah. All right. Sure thing. The reason we we're sliding back so much is Psylocke's armor. It has minus some hundred, some amount of uh, knockback. So uh, that can be really Let's helpful. Together, shall we? Sometimes yeah. being knocked back isn't Got such it. a bad thing. Right. Kind of gets you out of danger. However, <laughs> in my experience, I will yeah. say if you get hit by something really hard. <laughs> Um, it can freeze the game. <laughs> I have had that happen to me before. Just so, uh, something to be mindful of.
you okay. Goons ready to rumble? Dark Avalanche, be careful. This isn't really Avalanche, it's some type of astral protection of mine. Bye, Shadow. What is this? A fight or a square dance? We'll do. Affirmative. Okay. So he kind of, he can slow you down a little bit. I'm on it. Combo! Optic Rage! Yes. Oh, and then this happens, so you have to destroy that. Whenever he uses Quake, he gets a little armor there. Out of. So unlike before, okay. this time he slows you down. Why am I wasting my time with a bunch of losers? That can make him pretty hard to beat. Yes. Combo. Got it. Combo. Will do. Combo. I feel like the game is freezing, by the way. It's glitching a little bit. So that does happen. Um, I'm on it. We'll do. Alright. Combo! Affirmative. Okay. Watch out for those. When those panels break underneath you, they can definitely do some major damage. All right. Well, he likes to use that move when he knows he's in trouble, so. Will do. Stand in the middle. Okay. After you beat him, that's his last chance. I kind of like a kamikaze to KO you while uh, you're standing on top of him, so be careful with that. And as you saw, Avalanche, he kind of slows you down a little bit. That wasn't that wasn't lag. That was what he does. So um, now, mind you, if I had Cyclops, Jean Grey, Iceman, and Storm. I probably could have one-shot at him, kind of like what I did in the previous video where it said quake, 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 like seven times. He's trying to use it to stall the battle because of the, but they're so OP and their HP cap, it just, excuse me, it just goes way over that HP cap and then he can die with the leadership and everything. So uh, that is what he does. And you kind of tell you're still a little affected by it, it might take a little bit of time to get adjusted back. That is what he does. So with Jubilee's move that uh, Confuse, just like Emma Frost, it makes them turn to your team. So if you're looking to level up, you don't want to do that. Now they're teammates. So you can do that move. You can kind of spam it if you need to. And it makes all of them a part of the team. You can still attack them, but uh, they won't. They will attack each other, or they will help you in 
the battle. Some battles that can be helpful. They'll follow you and everything, so. Yeah, sometimes. I think they do kind of. They do still attack you every All so right. often, so you do want to watch yourself when you're dealing with it. But anyway. That's all I'm going to do, show you. Uh, let's see. So. I got to be Nightcrawler. Uh, not a bad team. Um, definitely, again, like I said, it would have been different if I had had out my, my main four. That battle would have went much smoother. Um, but you got a chance to see what all uh, of the things that Dr. Ellen does, so that's cool. Um, let's do... For this last one, let's do Iceman. Ice Wolverine. Wolverine. Emma Frost. Emma Frost. And... Mm. Oh, Colossus. Colossus. Iceman, he's got one point. I'm making 30 focus and then um, Ice Forge. So minus 50 damage. That can be very helpful. Alright, on to the last part. Save, save here. The Hall of Fire. Ooh, Dark Pyro. I was I couldn't remember who was last, so now I remember. Pyro. Got it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You should not have messed with me. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> I'm glad that happened to be on camera. He just slammed into the wall. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Will do. Almost forget about this comic book. Sometimes you get turned around in the astro. I was like, which way did I come in? Right. As you wish. Deflector. 
the body enhancer that we can use those. This book must be a symbol for knowledge, something Professor Xavier highly values. So, I think this is this the part. Yes, it is. Right. Yes. Will do. Hello, mates. Looks like it's time for a little thunder from down under. <laughs> that can't really be Pyro. It must be a trap left by Shadow King. Let's get this dude. He's got multiple resistances right now. So he had to defeat his minions until... And if you want, you can use your extremes before he uses all of them. Game's glitching again a little bit because uh, <laughs> when you keep up with him really well, he uses the move to excuse to kind of walk through attacks. <laughs> Sweet. Slows the game down. See, he keeps using it because he knows he's about to be KO'd. So. That's pretty much what he does. Get over here. Or I'm done. All right. Yes. <laughs> he was trying to deny the inevitable. Okay. And uh, so if you get stuck in Pyro's column of fire, it does a lot of damage to you. That's kind of what happened to Wolverine, so. If I hadn't, I guarantee you, if I hadn't put up his healing factor two more times, he probably would have died this time. Now it regenerates faster than it ever has. His age is ready. I bet that hurt. <laughs> Professor Xavier back. Get over here or I'm finished. All right. Oh, I guess Colossus got stuck in the uh, in the column of fire too. Yeah, it's pretty much. I did notice that. I played enough, enough times to know. So they use those moves when. When they know their HP is low, and when the attacker on your team, when their damage output is so much higher than the cap, he starts to use the move more than one time in a row to kind of delay the ending of the battle. So, uh, again, you can break your game doing that if you have Cyclops, Storm, Iceman, and Jean Grey, just because the four of them, they just they do so much damage. 
all together. So just something to keep in mind. You can break your game. Let's look it up. Magma. Magma. Okay, it's cool. Jean Grey. Jean Grey. And Cyclops. Cyclops. Oh, I meant to save that point. So I could use it for a legend rip. That's okay. I'll get it again here soon. Oh right, yes, Cyclops. Needs to be Wolverine okay. stood now. Okay. Yes. Okay. Got a healer and bio couple here. Oh, so those are some of the danger discs that I miss. If you um, if you miss them in the game, they will show up here. So, like the graduation exam four hundred, I was telling you about. You won't see that again until I think after the next chapter. So it's really important that you get it early. Sell everything I know I'm not going to be using anymore. Um, you know, I don't really need the experience. I know how to survive this game anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell that. Um, I'm probably not going to use that or that. The rest of them are pretty good. You know what? Better yet, this is something I haven't done before. I'm going to sell everything and not equip anything. I'm not going to equip anything. Buy these. So now go back to your team to see what their stats really are. So you know what you're dealing with. So not bad, right? Everybody's fairly balanced out at this point by level 30. So um, yeah. Should be all good. And let's go save Professor Fade. That did the trick. Once we walk through the gate, we'll be inside of the mind of Professor Xavier. And that's where we'll, we'll find out what Shadow is. In case the game crashes, I'm gonna do a save and right through it. What entertainment have you brought for me today, Shadow King? A group. 
He said, a group of assassins, my emperor. Professor Xavier, don't you recognize us? Somehow, they do look familiar. That is merely a ploy meant to confuse you, my emperor. Please, Professor, listen to me. Shadow King has brainwashed you. Nonsense. Shadow King is my trusted advisor. And as your advisor, I would suggest you deal with these cutthroats with the utmost severity. But I shouldn't... Sire, it would be a sign of weakness to show mercy to these killers. Yes, I suppose you're right. Excellent, your majesty. So, Professor Xavier called forces champions, and we have to battle them. Okay. Got it. Will do. Volcano! Super combo! The last guy. Oh, there he is. Better luck next time. How can this be? You bested my champions. You're the X Men, Professor. We're here to save you. The X Men? Yes. Now I remember. On the astral plane, we went to save Iliana. We were attacked by Shadow King. How dare you X-Men interfere with my plans? You'll never get Xavier back. Never! I have no idea where Shadow King went to, but at least we have managed to clear Professor Xavier's mind. Let's head back to the mansion and see what Cerebro can tell us. And extrapolation of the Sentinels' flight paths suggests that they are based at this facility in Central Europe. Also, just what is it you are suggesting, my friend? We must infiltrate this facility and... Liberate, liberate a sentinel guidance system sensor and a navigational controller <laughs> there ain't gonna be no waltz getting into sentinel central maybe not but it's something we have to do okay team let's move out okay so now there is a there is a facility that manufactures sentinels really so we need those two things to be able to get up to Asteroid M as well, apparently. So again, as I was saying, at this point, I'm pretty much going to have Magma out all the time for the rest of the game. So starting out, I'll put out Magma, Iceman. Magma. Um, mental people, for this part, are kind of... I mean, you can have them out, but there are a lot of mental resistant people, and they already don't really do a whole lot as it is. Even with Jean Grey's psychic legend move, it's uh, substantially less than what it normally would be. So it would kind of just be turning into knockback and would knock them back really far. So I'm not going to bother putting her out. Um, not yet, anyway. And I'm going to put out Rogue instead of Storm. Rogue. That's going to be my first team set up. Okay, team. Since Magneto escaped here a short while ago, the base is probably on alert and ready for an attack from the Brotherhood. 
They're going to throw everything they've got of us short of a nuclear bomb. Remember our two objectives. We need to find a guidance system sensor and a navigational controller. Well, this is fun. You bet. Okay. If you didn't know, there is a enemy there. It's actually kind of easy to miss because they point you facing this way. So normally you would just drive, drive, drive by. You would just right. come by and not even think about it. Yeah. Light can be really helpful for this part. You definitely want to have somebody out who can fly. Uh. Except for this one, let me see. Uh. Ah, missed again. It can be a little hard to Sorry, Sugar. Right. Versal soldiers. I knew there had to be a connection between them and the Sentinels. How else could they have timed their New York attacks so well? Interesting. Take your bed, yes. You bet. Just pretty much single handed with the ball of the mouth. That's fine. Look at him, he's beginning doing this. You're probably not supposed to.
Edging from the amount of damage, this must be where Magneto you know, woke up and fought the Sentinels. It's as though the Sentinels came out on releasing him. Not surprising. <laughs> Got Not surprising it. at all. Okay. Will do. Heads up, people! Okay. Heads up, people. Okay. Bro, broke that truck in one hit. Heads up, people. Proximity key card. Yeah, you need that in order to get in. There's a sketchbook here, easy to miss. Got it. I remember what that one is. But yeah, if you want to get a quick look of everything to make sure you didn't miss anything, there's Rogue's flight ability, so uh, that's how I learned that. Started learning that there was a robot over here by that gate because you would get here and be like, Did I miss that guy? and you did. So, uh, if you again, sometimes the camera angle can make you miss things, that's why you often see me doing this. It's all going not make it any really And then, of course, the, my favorite is the dive. Think you're bad, Muti? This again. Combo! <laughs> Room on the ground. Anybody need help? I'm on it. We'll do. Gotcha. We'll do. Okay. So the reason why you need that proximity card, you need to come back. I think I just walked by it. There's nothing in this. Like oh, I missed this guy too. You bet. Let's fly around to make sure I didn't miss anything else. I think I got all the enemies. I destroyed all the tanks. Oh, there's one. There's two. I think that's everything. I think I forgot.
Anyway, so you need that proximity key card to get in. Where is it? I think it's this door over here. Right here. Yep, use facility entrance. I'm on it. You'll do. Gotcha. Go to the fabrication facility. Will do. So I want to show some dialogue here before You're going I down. change my team. Whitney says we shouldn't have any trouble finding the equipment we need. The bad news is, this isn't a simple military base, it's a factory. There are mass producing sentinels here. Interesting. So. At a military base, they're mass producing sentinels. That would have to mean whoever. That would have to mean whoever the informant was for a Juggernaut and Shadow King would have to be someone who was American. Interesting. Because Ileana and Pioker, they're Russian. Maybe, yeah, in order for him to know all of that, he had to have been a part of the military in some way. Interesting. All right. Team Chain. Beast. Colossus. And Wolverine. This is my team for the, for the next part here. Pulling on pinball. What's the wrath of when to go to? Minus five damage, minus sixty percent pain. That can be very useful in the movie game. So you find that I'll definitely use it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a save state real quick, and I will be right back, everyone. I'm going to make some go uh, real quick so I can start rising while I'm finishing this part of the game. So I will be right back. In the meantime, enjoy this wonderful X-Men Legends music that I love so much. Thank you again for watching, and I'll be back shortly.
Come on, we're the X-Men. Let's get the bad guys. So, uh, what now? Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Remember me? Me. I'm happy just waiting in one place. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Remember me?
So, uh, what now? Come on, we're the X-Men. Let's get the bad guys. Why are we standing around when we could be saving the world? I'm happy just waiting in one place. I'm happy just waiting in one place.
So, uh, what now? Alrighty. Thanks for waiting, everybody. So, pizza dough. I'd like to let my pizza dough rise for about an hour and a half and then um, eat it and then bake it right then and there. It's nothing like making fresh pizza dough. So, I'll that's rising. Uh, oh, I forgot. While y'all were listening to the music, you were probably listening to a complaint. So next time I'm going to just press pause. I'm sure you all have probably heard all of Magma's phrases by now. So what are we going to do now? And whatever else she says. <laughs> all right. Forgot about that. <laughs> no! We have incoming! the bad thing about like Colossus and Beast, they have a lot of strength, but they don't have a lot of agility, so their moves can be blocked pretty easily. It's not that they're not strong, really. but yeah, so on this part, there are mainly um, There are mainly mental resistant people and energy energy resistant people. So I decided to bring three physical and one energy. So, uh, because Magma is just so, even if they are energy, she can probably still take all of them out anyway. All right, I will comply. All right, indeed. Will do. Time you freaks learn to listen. Danger of this qualifying exam 500. So I will be needing to complete that. Just, I'm remembering. I think I was supposed to go to the danger room earlier during the stream, but I totally got distracted by the storyline. So I will be sure to definitely be right. Don't worry. Ow! That had to hurt. All right. Combo! Combo! The bad thing about have, not having a lot of agility is your your attacks don't land as often, and the enemies can get their attacks off when you are on. If you're wondering why Cyclops always, if you're wondering why Colossus always needs HP, because his agility is significantly weaker than everyone. Right. So it makes it pretty hard for him to, gotcha. uh, to dodge any attacks. However, he does have the HP to withstand it. You're going down. It with him being not having much agility. Oh, 
and not having enough agility. It can make him pretty easy. He's a pretty easy target, unfortunately. And in some cases, that can actually be a very bad thing. Is in the situation. Time you freaks learn a lesson. Ooh yeah, ain't no one standing my way. Okay. Indeed. Ah, I feel stronger than combo. Is, uh, Let's see what you got. With your physical people, you definitely want to have them make sure they have their armors up to help them take those, those cases where their agility isn't high enough to withstand damage. So it's <laughs> <do> fall down. <laughs> That's funny, I had jumped over it like I had at the same time. <laughs> sure thing. Indeed. As you wish. Got it. I have a couple level ups here. Oh, I missed something. Wait a minute. Uh... I must have missed something. I will comply. Exactly as if I forgot. Oh, that. There we go. That was will do. Indeed. Uh oh, <laughs> okay. Get stuck back there. That 100 plus 150 percent jump is pretty crazy. I don't. Whoever thought of that? It's great addition to the game. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you see how all of them are caked up. That's the only bad thing about physical people, if their agility isn't up there, and so they can't make enough of an impact. So they spend more time loving up their agility probably over other skills that I love it up. 
pity you went stronger. Yes. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Just please don't hurt me. Who runs this facility? It's a privately owned company, but we are under government contract to manufacture the Sentinels. Who's your government contact? I cannot tell you. He'd kill me. Uh, would you rather take your chances with us? Kincaid. General Kincaid is the operation director. Kincaid? Who's the creep that was running the Weapon X facility in Canada? These Sentinels must be a part of Operation Overlords. What's Kincaid doing here? He recently ordered a new Sentinel model into full-scale production. What does that to track him down to get him to rethink that? Where can we find a guided system sensor and a navigational controller? In the construction core. What's security like there? It is not heavy, but that level was severely damaged when Magneto escaped. Hmm. So... The destruction set loose several early prototypes of the set. That was just put in production. No one has yet been able to capture them. Of course not. This mission just keeps getting better at every turn. We're finished with you. Good riddance. Quite agreeable. Indeed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I ran out of energy because of paying attention. <laughs> That man move can be useful in a group of people. You can do it right. Uh, oh, little freeze there. Uh, give it a second. Will do. Oh, they won't let me lock one door. Okay, I'm not spoken around.
<laughs> Yo, who's bad? <laughs> they sure do love to talk smack. <laughs> Cyber's Revenge. Haven't seen that one in a while. Ah. Man, he's blocking everything. <laughs> That beast and Colossus aren't great, but I am going to change my team. Here. I think I'm definitely going to stick with uh, Magma and Wolverine. So let's do. Um, Rogue. Oh, rogue and Iceman. Iceman. Legend free. Finally got that. Three one body. Let me see what's happening. I just get to one seven smash. Wait a minute. I think I might have hit circle by accident and then assigned my two points somewhere else. I need to go back to that. My screen froze temporarily there here to bear with me for one second. Yes, let me take those points back. And, uh, there we go. 450 to 550 physical damage. <laughs> That's crazy. Bed. Let me see that guy. to see how much she could reflect. So pretty much every other punch it looks like. Not bad. Right. I 
need more energy to do that. Gotcha. Okay. Think you're bad, beauty? Taking the leg placement control out of whack. So they can't finish making the sentinels. I saw it. Got it. If Wolverine can't destroy him, it can't be destroyed. <laughs> Remember where to go next. Halfway somewhere. Guys, turn those actors. The window. I guess you lose, huh? Okay. Okay. Will do. Will do. Legs shut down. We will not finish any more sentinels. Oh, we're supposed to break through that wall. Should I maybe let it go here? Um. No, we just came from there. So up these, up this ladder. Let's see what you got. Arm attachment, and we've had a whole other ones, right? Let's do some magma. Let's see if there's magma here. Let's see what else I can level up for her. Stand 
do. You ain't getting up to that. We got trouble! Combo! Sentinels out here now. That's their backs. Right. Right. Guys. I had to use magma to seal up the door for more sinners. You don't do that, they'll keep coming. They seal up this door. Placement controls are done. When in doubt, when you, when you run out of places to go, look for walls to destroy. That's the best that's the video in this part. But if not, you'll keep running in circles trying to find out where to go. Alright, so we detached, well, we've got uh, the leg attachments cancelled out and arm. Attachments. Now we have to stop the heads from being put on the sentinels. Right, gotcha. Okay. Come on. Right. No way I can live this. I think Rogue can. 
Oh, that's right. I forgot. Rogue can throw Wolverine to the ball. So that's good. So let's switch to... I don't want to keep real bad. So. You know, I think I might just stick with this. A little bit of everything. Oh, well, that's cool. Minus eight damage plus four to five bleed damage to punch for five seconds. That's pretty cool. It's like the effect of level one of Wolverine's sharpness to anyone in the game. So that's pretty cool. And rapid right to go, minus five damage. Um, I think I might give everybody. Yeah, we're pretty much good at this. You can kind of see this game is still hard, even though I spam experience. So, um, if I hadn't done that, this part would be that much harder. So it goes to show how difficult this game is actually. So I'm going to save state here. Come on, mutant! Oh, they were off the screen. Guided system sets. That's part one. Complete it. Ain't nothing gonna stop me now. Step one complete. Now we need to find the other. We got incoming. There's a danger disc up here. Very easy to miss. Because you can completely accidentally go by this part if you get to the bottom. Really important. Operative. 
Okay. Wolverine almost started there. Make sure I didn't get anything. Ooh, he almost threw that shuriken at me. And so did that guy. Just gonna make sure I didn't get anything important here. There's another guy. Let's just drop him from really high. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, we've already been there. We just need to go this way. Stay in a group. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Onto the storage warehouse. Let's rock, Frank. I need more energy to do that. Booyah! Booyah! Combo! Let everybody's energy heal for a moment. This part can be really difficult. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. We'll do. Okay. Right. Guess Here you're is the navigational is. controller that this must be the navigational controller. That was a huge amount of trouble for something so hope it was very good. Finally, we've got both items. Now let's get out of here and head back to the air. What is that? My god, there's a human melded to that machine. Mutant targets acquired. Primary objective. 
annihilation of mutant life forms. And I am so upset that the audio cut out because it does the most creepy laugh. I would have gave it so much more on Texas Nets. I'm really upset with that. It's not fair. Anyway, annihilation of mutant life forms. So the plot thickens. Okay. There were we'll sentinels do. now in production that have humans attached to And they're really strong. They have way more okay. HP than the oh. other ones. So this is the prototype that General Kincaid was rushing into production. It's constructed entirely of plastics, no metal at all, and that's not an accident. Magneto wouldn't be able to do anything against plastic. Come on, mutant! Maybe you want to stay Come on! Will do. The Cyber Sentinels must have come down from the lower levels. We have to go down and Human hybrid sentinels. How desperate do you have to be to basically well, murder humans at this point? That's very extreme. That's more extreme than that, you know this. So, I think this is where I'm going to end the stream. The plot thickens, huh? So now, not only do we have the other sentinels that are battling, there's a new prototype of the most production that has been um, the cost of human life as well. So on that note, I am going to do a save state here. Actually, I want to save a few, I want to sell a few things before I save and switch up my team, and then we'll go from yeah. Uh, there, it, my screen just froze a little bit, so bear with me. So I'm going to change my team. I'm feeling... Hmm. I'm going to keep Rogue out because she can fly. I will, I will need that at some point. I'm going to put out Cyclops. Cyclops. And... Storm. Storm. And I never did level up her flight. I'm just going to allow him to go for a this time around. So there's Ash. Cyclops. Pop it to speed. And I'm still waiting to get a lot of fair magnet. Let's go. Sell a few things and then I think I will wrap up my stream here. 
be stay tuned next time. We'll uh, finish off with that. Because, uh, this happened here. So what's going to happen to the human hybrid sentence? What's going to be done about it? No. Uh, I'm going to play. I might try to play a little bit tomorrow. See what it's going to be. Yeah. I hope you've been enjoying the stream. Thank you everyone for watching one of my favorite games. So, uh, what now? X Men Legends 1. There isn't a category for it. So, if this is X Men Legends 1, this is Who is the rise of the Cavalist? It's a little bit different. So. Everyone, okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Here.